What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and I hope you guys had a good weekend. Today I'm going to be showing you five of my favourite security and privacy apps for Android. These apps are going to help you secure your privacy on your phone and I hope you enjoy. First up on this list we have one of my favourite apps which is called Lockwatch. What this does is means that if someone incorrectly inputs the password to your phone, your phone will take a photo with the front facing camera and email you that photo. Along with the photo you will also get a map which will show you the latitude and the longitude of where your phone is. So if your phone is stolen or if it's lost, this is going to mean that if anyone tries to unlock it you're going to be able to see exactly where it is and who is trying to unlock it. The app is free but there is also a paid version which means if anyone changes the SIM card or powers your phone on without your knowledge you will also get an email along with the location and a photo as well. And you can also make it take multiple photos at one second intervals as well as recording a quick sound clip. Next up we have Keep Safe and this is along a similar line. This is going to let you hide media content on your phone so that no one else can see it. This means that sensitive stuff in your gallery isn't going to be visible, this hides it from your gallery and puts it behind a password protected vault. This has loads of different applications, it gives you a couple of examples so you automatically get a cards and ID, a video and a significant other section. But you can go ahead and customise these as much as you like. So just as an example, I'm going to go into this missile plans folder here and I'm going to add a photo from my gallery. So you just hit this blue button, it will open up into your gallery app. You can choose whichever photos you want to hide. These are then imported and encrypted and stored within the vault. The free version is fully functional. You can store up to 200 items in the cloud, but if you do upgrade, you can store up to 5,000 separate items and it will unlock a couple of extra features like the ability to have a custom thumbnail for different albums. And it will also let you be able to password protect specific albums with other passwords. The fact that it's in the cloud is great. It means all this stuff is then viewable on different devices. And if you run like an Android emulator or something on your computer, you'll be able to see all those files on the computer as well. Next up on this list we have the Norton App Lock and this is the best of all the different app locks that I've tried. A lot of them are very heavy with bloatware and use a lot of intrusive advertisements but Norton App Lock is actually really good. This lets you password protect specific applications on your phone. So first up you set a password and then all you need to do is go through this list and choose which apps you want to lock. You can turn the lock on and off with the press of a button, so if you're normally at home and you don't need this, you can turn it off. But if you're out and about or you're with friends or whatever situation warrants the app lock, you can just turn it on with one press. There is also a nice option which lets you unlock an app for a session. This means if you're going into, say, Twitter and it's password protected, you only need to unlock it once. If you're then bouncing backwards and forward between a couple of apps in the same session, it's going to remain unlocked. All in all, this is a really simple way to add a password to any app of your choice. A lot of other app locks on the Play Store will lock an app, but the app will first open, then the lock will open over the top of it, so you do get a glimpse of the app that you're trying to protect. With the Norton app lock, this doesn't tend to happen, so no one is going to see even a slither of the app that you try to hide. No privacy or security video would be complete without a mention of Tor. Tor is one of those powerful tools you can use online to maintain your anonymity and your privacy. Within the app, you can enable a VPN, which will mean that any single application will automatically be going through the Tor server, so your IP address and all that stuff is going to be scrambled. There is also a bridges option, which will allow you to bypass your network if your network doesn't allow you to use proxies. This just means you can surf the web with pure anonymity. And then finally on this list, we have the Orfox browser. This is still powered by Tor, but this is just a slightly more fully featured browser. It's not the quickest browser in the world because Tor is doing all the stuff in the background to maintain your anonymity, but if you don't want people to be able to trace what you're doing online, then this is one of the best options for mobile devices. You can do all the stuff you'd normally be able to do with a browser like open multiple tabs, there's an extra privacy mode if you want even more privacy, and all in all it's a really neat way of surfing in private. So there you are guys, those are five of my favourite security and privacy apps for Android. Let me know in the comments below which apps you use every day to maintain your privacy. Please go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed it. Let's see if we can break 250 likes, that would be fantastic. Please also subscribe if you haven't seen me before, I've got loads of new content coming out in the near future. And if you want to request any video, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to cater for you. You can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.